We would like to invite Mr. Richard, Vice Principal of Bina Bangsa School. Good afternoon, uh, good afternoon, distinguished guests, Mr. Paulus, Director of Academic Supervision Division, Mr. Andy, Principal of Hanabangsa PJ Secondary, family teachers, parents, and students. It's my pleasure to provide an introduction to our valedictorian graduating from Junior College, Jason Philip Williams. Jason's success at Kenya Bangsa is his testimony to his parent, whom we also honor today. I also hope you savor this moment and uh, enjoy this moment many years in the making. Congratulations. You've done a beautiful job with your son, and we are grateful that you shared it with us. Jason is an exceptional student. His marks are in my colors. His AS results were straight A's and we expect no less for his A-level. No less, huh? All teachers who taught him would agree that he has an Einstein brain. On top of his busy academic schedule, Jason was involved in many co-curricular activities and other activities. He was a member of Media Hub Committee, a member of Prefectorial Board. He was our designated Master of Ceremony for many, many events, the House Games, Special Weeks, Christmas Celebration, Chinese New Year Celebration, and many more. He volunteered to help his tutor, uh, his juniors, uh, to tutor them in near exam time. He was involved in their club of niche visits. What made Jason so special, however, is not his abundant talents or intelligence, but that is his character. Here are some quotes from the friends. First one, Jason is super clever, but he's very down to earth. Another friend said, he has a photographic memory, but very friendly and very helpful. I don't know how true that is. Um, Jason is fun to hang out with. Jason is likable. Jason is very competitive. Maybe a bit kiasu. <laughs> but in a positive way. And these are some from the teachers. Jason is very independent. He takes care of everything by himself, especially in applying to university. He would even remind his friends about the deadlines and help them in the application. He is very responsible. He does not follow the crowd. He will do what he thinks is right. And he is very mature. Some teachers say that he is humble. There is never, um, another teacher would say, there is never a need to worry. Uh, because he will complete all the tasks given. With all his achievement and talents, Jason is accepted in many universities, and he decided to pers pursue actual science in Waterloo, Uni Waterloo University, Canada. Now, let us, along with his parent, savor and enjoy his last moments with Jason as he delivered his valedictory address. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Philip Williams. Well, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Richard, for that wonderful introduction. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is such a great honor to be here and deliver this speech. But before I do so, as repetitive as it may be, I would like to thank the principal, Mr. Andy Cole, distinguished guests, the teaching staff, fellow graduates, parents, and everyone else in this hall for making all of this possible. You deserve the most resounding round of applause. I would also like to personally thank my family, to my mom, who has always been there for me. All the advices and disagreements, thank you, I know that you do it for my sake. To my younger brother Jacob, 
who has been my wake-up call ever since he got his new drum kit. Thank you for brightening up my days. And to my late father, I want you to know that you have always been and always will be my driving force towards success. Thank you for guiding me after all these years, even in your absence. With that covered, let's begin. Looking back to the beginning of our high school years, it seems like it was just yesterday. There's the first PE class, the first chapter test, the first girlfriend, the second girlfriend. Or maybe you're more like me, the no girlfriend. Ah, I see you smiling, Will. Well, <laughs> fortunately, my speech today will not be about a single 18-year-old teenager. It will be about this. Our JC uniform. I've been wearing this uniform for the past two years. And in that period of time, it has been a love and hate relationship. I like the idea that boys have to wear ties and girls have to wear vests. It's, it gives off a very professional kind of vibe. But sometimes this button here, it's a bit hard to undo. And I don't really know how I feel about the pants. It's baggy, but it's comfortable. Despite all of that, I grew fond of it. Because among all the decisions I've made in my life, I am really glad I ended up here in Binabangsa School, Kabojuro, filled with all the wonderful people that made me the person I am today. It was in this uniform that I met my friends, the graduates sitting here today. Even if it was just for two years, we have been through a lot, haven't we? We had many classes and tests. We did a lot of birthday surprises. We lent ties to each other, especially if chemistry was our next period. <laughs> we played soccer on a flooded field and some of us went back to class barefoot and we managed to break a lot of things like chairs, crucibles, pipettes, burets, and even toenails, right, Albert? <laughs> I just want to say thank you for being a friend, a teacher, a counselor, a brother, and a sister to me. You guys are awesome, and I hope all of you stay awesome. <laughs> also, thank you, teachers, for everything that you have done for us. And it's not just about teaching us chemistry or math. It's about other things that are just as important. Like the pizza party we had in FB class with Miss Ami. The hilarious corny jokes with Mr. Adinas. <laughs> the two sessions with Miss Inen. We got to skip a bit of camp class with that. The exit passes from Miss Dian and so much more that I can't possibly fit all of them in this speech. Thank you, teachers, for the wisdom, patience, and knowledge that you have shared with us. Without you, there would be no graduates. Please, give the teachers a round of applause. We have now all gone through high school, which was no easy feat. And as we take off our uniforms for this one last time, we say goodbye not only to highly fashionable hardware, but also to years of memories and experiences that we've had. Throughout the years in this uniform, we have created special bonds with the physical campus, teaching staff, and undoubtedly each other. And let me just say, it has been a great privilege to be part of this community. However, it won't be long before we integrate ourselves into a much larger and more diverse community. Yes, I am talking about university. As much as I like to say something insightful about the future, the simple truth is I am absolutely terrified. For example, we'll have to make new friends. Since most of us are studying abroad, we'll be living alone or with a roommate. We'll need to get used to the new public transportation system. We might get lost in the campus when searching for our next class. Homeworks can now come in forms of lab reports or thesis. And no more mommy and daddy to take care of you when you're sleeping. A lot of things may not go the way we plan, but we can all agree that we are a resilient class. We survived essays, exams, projects, 
sit-ups, push-ups, pull-ups. We also survived blackouts, floods, traffic jams, earthquakes, and even Ebola. These are just some of the things that show how we have all matured, physically and mentally. I am sure that the capable individuals sitting here today will be able to overcome the challenges of tomorrow. With that, my final and only partition of wisdom is this. When life knocks you down, don't just get back up. See, what BBS has taught us is that when life knocks you down, you do 20 push-ups first, then you get back up. <laughs> no, I'm actually being serious here. The push-ups is a metaphor that refers to improving yourself so that you will not be knocked down as easily as before. Because what truly defines us is how well we rise after falling. Congratulations, class of 2016. <laughs> Gentlemen, to present this year's valedictorian for secondary four, we have Mr. 